Okay, so uh, let's take a look at some basic animation and creating joints. So if we go to the part section, we have here a number of joints we can use. And you can see I created here a very simple scene with just uh, a part that I want to move along with this other part, essentially. Uh, okay, so let's go here and click slider. Then we click at the beginning and sort of drag along the path we want to animate and let it go. So you can see in the browser it created a slider and we have this white line uh, visible. So the slider essentially is like a group. So let's move this cube into it. And now if you select the slider in the info tab, you can see we have a slide. So if we move this slider, it sort of moves back and forth. Now here it moves further than our line, but we can constrain it if we use those tiny white rectangles. And we can grab and drag it to where we want to limit the movement. And so now you can see it can't go any further than this rectangle. So this is sort of for setting uh, the range. Uh, you have to have this range checked here. And then we can decide how far we want it to go. All right, so this is, this is the first kind uh, which we can use for animation. Now let's take a look at uh, rotating. So we have a wonderful turret here. Um, and let's say that we want to move this upper part. We want to rotate it a bit. So let's pick a rotator and click in the center of our rotation, which we can then adjust here. Let's just move it down a little bit. And this is our rotator. Again, it works like a group. So we grab turret and drop it into it, select it. And again, we have this slider here. This time it's a rotation. Right, so you can see we can rotate it however we want. But again, it's a little bit too much. So let's use those white rectangles and set a range. Right, so that looks better. And now we can animate our turret between these two points. Right, so this is really that simple. So this is our rotator joint. Okay, and one more joint we can take a look at is, uh, is going to be like a ball joint. So we have this element created here and let's put a ball joint here right in the middle of it so then we can bend and twist this upper part. Okay, so yeah, that would, that would do. And again, let's take this top part and put it into this ball joint, select it. And now we have three different axes here, right? Because we can move and twist it along the X, along Y, and along Z. Right? So this gives us a lot of freedom, right? You can manipulate it really however you want. Okay, so now let's take a look how to actually animate it, how to set an animation. All right, so we have, uh, again, we have like a simple turret here. I already set here this range that I wanted to move it from here to here. And let's animate it. So, well, we can go to the animation tab, of course. But what I like to do is just go to view and uh, view the motion, which basically is the same thing that we have in the animation tab. And here we have our rotator joint. We also have our range here, just as we have in our info tab. Uh, so what do we have to do? First, let's click on the plus, which will create first keyframe. Then we move the timeline. And let's say that we want to rotate like this. And again, click on the plus, which will create the second keyframe. So now if we go back to the beginning and press play, you can see it animates. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's the really basic animation. Now we can click and select those keyframes and move them along the timeline. So we can modify the movement. We can uh, make it shorter. We can make it longer. Also, we can use this ease in and out, which will uh, ease the camera movement, right? So for example, the camera will slow down, uh, the movement will slow down 
will, for example, start more smoothly and end more smoothly, right? It's not going to be uniform throughout the whole movement. So it will uh, just look more natural. Right? So you can see it sort of moves fast in the middle, but then it slows down near the end. Right, so if we play it, it moves fast and then it slows down by the end. Right, so this is like a very simple animation and that's pretty much it.